welcome back to engineering graphics class in today's session we will going to discuss how to draw the isometric view using isometric sheet okay let me discuss the problem number 14 okay, we will uh, get into the question the question is given like this a sphere of diameter 45 mm rests centrally over a frustrum of a cone of base diameter 60 mm top diameter 40 mm and height 60 mm draw its isometric projections so here we have a two object the first object is uh, we have a frustrum of a cone and second object is sphere the bottom object we have to construct the cone the frustrum of cone and then on the top of that we need to place a sphere when the cone comes we know that that circular part will come so here the frustrum is two circular part that is a bottom face and top face comes the diameter they given for the bottom they given it is a 60 mm so we need to construct the 60 mm square frame first so take it any one uh, from bottom six boxes we need to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 then join it back so after that <clears throat> as usual we need to draw the uh, the lines to the opposite edge midpoint from the bottom corner to your midpoint and same way from bottom corner to the another edge and go to the top corner and draw the same to the bottom edge midpoint and here also we need to draw like this we need to draw the four lines and then we will get the four centers 1 2 3 and 4 by using those four centers we need to draw the arc to get the circular portion that one we need to draw with the thick line so take the bottom center and draw the arc between between these two midpoints and then take the top uh, point as a center and draw the arc between bottom two like this and then take the intersection point as a center and draw the arc between these two and then the last take the another intersection point and draw the arc so after finishing this so we need to uh, delete the lines uh, we are drawing here and we need to get the center to get the center we can draw the the midpoints opposite end midpoint if we draw that we will get the midpoint here and the axis height they given uh, that height we need to mention here the height of the <coughs> the prism they given 60 mm so from the bottom we need to count the six boxes 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and next after getting center so here an, another face of the this frustrum of a cone comes that diameter they given 40 so we need to construct the 40 mm frame so from the center we need to take the 40 mm half of the 2 1 2 and then same way here 1 and 2 and then here also 1 and 2 and then 1 and 2 after getting all this then again we need to draw the lines from those points again 1 and 2 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 and 2 so like this we need to make complete frame we need to make it Okay, next as usual uh, we need to take the bottom corner and draw the line to the opposite edges midpoint and same way from top corner to bottom edge uh, midpoints we need to draw the lines and then we will get the four centers and by taking those centers and we need to draw the arc with the thick line take the bottom corner and draw the arc between top two edges and same way go to the top corner and draw the arc between bottom two edges and then intersection point as a center and draw the left side uh, and right side arcs like this and after finishing this so we need to we can erase all the the construction lines uh, whichever we used here and then the final thing is uh, we need to keep the center for because uh, one more thing we need to place the spear, uh, spear on that before that we need to join the tangent we need to draw the tangent line from top to bottom face here so we need to draw the tangent keep the scale at the periphery here and just draw the a tangent like this 
and here also we can draw the tangent like this so this completes the uh, cone one object is completed and you can delete all the reference lines here whichever we drawn and then whatever the the portion coming inside so this one so we can uh, erase it we need to erase it before taking print out so like this so this completes the cone and next sphere the sphere uh, before taking the sphere we need to have a center because the, the sphere we know that sphere will be drawn with the circle so just by taking the actual circle but before taking that we need to give the uh, center first we need to get the center and by taking the center we will draw the uh, circle of that so that uh, center uh, the sphere the sphere diameter they given 45 so half of that the radius we need to give 22.5 so from the center of this we need to take the 22.5 means uh, almost 2.2 uh, means two boxes and slightly more than that like this here one and two like you can draw that one and two boxes and slightly more than that we need to draw it so this is the center for uh, that sphere and then after that take this one as center and here the 22.5 we need to take the normal scale don't measure on the isometric this is the when it comes to the sphere we need to take here here so we should not take isometric scale for to draw the sphere and we need to take the normal scale so in the normal scale measure 22.5 and then draw the complete circle with the taking normal uh, actual dimension 22.5 so this is how the completed and uh, at the final so we need to the erase the the portion coming inside of the sphere we need to erase it and uh, we can delete the center line also okay so like this the problem is completed